Okay, so what is going on there, YouTube? I am Paul from Wing Gaming, and I'm coming back at you with another video. And today, I thought, following recording uh, GeoGuessr, which I really, really enjoyed doing, I thought I would do uh, start a new series, which I am calling Random Online Thingies. And a lot of this is going to be inspired by Jack Septicai, and this one was as well. Uh, this is called Surgery Squad. It's a game he's played. Um, he plays a lot of on online stuff, and I thought I'd give it a go, um, see how it goes down. And uh, I. I tend to find that a lot of this online stuff is is a bit more enjoyable to watch than uh, personally than uh, the installed games. So we're gonna have a little look. So first of all, we're doing the laparoscopic uh, gallbladder removal or cholecyst. I have no clue how to pronounce that. I should know. I studied science, but I I don't. So. We're gonna hop in uh, right here. We've got Dr. Susie Who is featured with Jacksepticeye a few times I think so We're gonna hop in and see what happens do not watch this if you are remotely squeamish because this is not a game for the squeamish Stuck to me. I'm Dr. Susie and I'll be guiding you through this procedure today Your gallbladder is basically a place that stores bile generated by your liver as your body digests fats your gallbladder pushes bile into the common bile duct down to your small intestine to help digest them. Gall Basically, form it, when the bile it puts acid in your intestine to digest the food. Common bile duct. These stones can consist of calcium, blood, and cholesterol, and they can cause moderate to severe pain, <laughs> along with nausea and or vomiting. When this happens, it Sounds is called pleasant. a gallbladder attack. Gallbladder removal is the best treatment for gallstones. There are two types, open gallbladder surgery and laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Open gallbladder surgery involves one large incision and removal of the gallbladder. It is performed when the laparoscopic method is not possible, or when complications okay. or too much scarring from previous surgeries are found, or when the patient's blood won't clot well. This type of surgery causes more pain and longer recuperation time. A laparoscopic cholecystectomy, however, is the most common Wait a second. and often wanna... the best method to remove... Laparoscopic cholecystectomy. I can do it. I can pronounce it. I'm proud of myself now. ...gallbladder. It is where the gallbladder is removed through several small cuts in your abdomen. The several small safe, cuts? And folks who have Why it several? recover within one week. There are a number of benefits... Oh, it's keyhole. Oh, now I get it. Among them, you'll be able to eat food without pain in most cases. It eliminates any discomfort in the stomach lining. Right, let's and see if we can skip this bit. Preparation, here we go. under general anesthesia, thanks to our nurses and anesthesiologists. We're going to make four small incisions, one right below the belly button, and okay. three others right over the abdomen. First, we'll disinfect the area where we're going to make our first incision. Lovely. Good. Now take your scalpel and make a small incision right below his belly button. Looks like he's bruised him. Oh! They just, just jabbed it right in there. I thought it would nice have, you know, clean. gone a bit more careful than that. We've to see where we're going. So we'll first inflate his abdomen with a little carbon dioxide to have some room to work. Just right. Now we'll use this laparoscopic camera to help us see where we're going. We'll watch our monitor as we go. Slow and steady. It's an endoscope. You're doing a great job. And there it is. I'll take care of the other incisions for our laparoscopic tools. Oh, the shame. I want to stab him more. In place. Can you move the liver out of the way using the clamp so we can get to the gallbladder? Lovely. Excellent work. We should have plenty a cool bladder, though. Now. It's purple. Why is it purple? Purple seems like a strange color. We'll need to clamp off the bile duct in three locations. Only three. One. Two. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Great. Now use the scissors to sever it. I'll hold the gallbladder in place while you work to cut it from the liver. We'll use an electrocautery device to minimize bleeding. Fantastic! Looks like you've done this before. One last thing. Have Let's I? Let's take our clamp through the cut under the belly button and pull this guy out. Oh, my 
God, they just pulled that whole Our thing out, that tiny little hole. Wow. Gas, so let's close him up and get him to a fast recovery. Just, just gonna staple your stomach, you know. Just gonna, you know. As you do, random staples in your stomach. Our patient is now in recovery, and he'll probably be there for a few hours. We'll send him home when he's able to eat something and drink fluids easily. We'll also make sure he can walk on his own before we let him go. He'll probably have a small amount of diarrhea, and his doctor will probably have him on a special diet to follow for a few days. Okay, so I've uh, chosen another one. We finished the gallbladder removal, and now we are here. And I thought this one looked quite funny. How to cook a turkey. I mean, why on a surgery simulator are they teaching us how to cook a turkey? But I thought it looks interesting, so we'll give it a go. See what it's like. And this does take a while to load. I'm, I'm a bit concerned about the fact it does take a, a bit of time to load, but it'll be okay, I think. Also, I like the loading animation. It's clever. Although I don't like the thought that it, of it taking that long to make an incision. I mean, I know before I was complaining about how quickly they sort of stabbed the scalpel in, but I mean, there, there's a degree of acceptability, and and it is somewhere between gently making the incision and not taking forever to do it. Seriously, this is taking forever. Honestly, why does it take this long to load a game which is just teaching you how to um how to cook a turkey but I get the idea I've got it Matt I, I get the idea of like the people that are using this the students um and so they're probably gonna want to know things like you know how to cook a turkey but it it seems like that should be a separate matter <laughs> hello and welcome to surgery squad's thanksgiving special how to cook a turkey oh, it's a thanksgiving jeff, special and okay I'll be guiding you through this delicious Hi, dr today. jeff nothing helps me relax more after a challenging go away nothing helps me I don't care. Our patient, uh, subject today, is a 24 pound <laughs> turkey who is nicely thawed and ready to be a patient. Star. Yeah, it's a bit dead for a patient. Can you pat the turkey dry with some paper towels as I remove the gizzards and neck from the body cavity? <laughs> I like the way they call it a body ca cavity. What's funny is people think, so, so many people have this misconception that when you Great stuff work. a turkey, you stuff cooking. it up its ass. You no don't. You actually stuff into its neck. With, it's important to remember to keep it moist. If the bird is too dry, your guests might have to lie and tell you how delicious the turkey is when they really wish they were eating a TV dinner. Here's how I prepare a turkey to keep it moist. First, rub the softened stick of butter deeply onto the turkey skin, which will make it nice oh, and brown lovely. in the face. Grease him up. Oh, yeah. Oh, slimy. That's a lot of butter. That's that's not good for your cholesterol, good. mate. Next, sprinkle a generous amount of salt and pepper all over the bird for seasoning. This is a lot of salt too. That's really, really not good for you. Trust me, I've been there. Cramps and all, and all sorts. It's not worth it. Great. The bird's all seasoned up, but not quite ready for the oven. Some folks traditionally fill the cavity with their stuffing mixture. I don't, mainly because it introduces some problems. First, there's a chance that bacteria can find its way into the bird. Also, if you cook your bird to the perfect temperature, the stuffing will be too dry. It's best to bake the stuffing as a separate dish. 
Instead of stuffing, let's put in some aromatics, such as rosemary or sage, a stick or two of cinnamon, a whole lemon, onion sliced in half, or a cinnamon. handful of peeled garlic cloves. Cinnamon the in a cooks. turkey? So these guys, Are you mad, bro? All kinds of flavors that will get right into the meat. Mmm, this guy's gonna taste good. One more thing before we put it in the oven. Take a large piece of aluminum foil and form a tent over the bird. It will yeah, keep any moisture obviously. from evaporating. We'll take it off during the last 45 minutes of cooking so I think the bird that was a can beginner brown. or something. Ready for the oven? Okay, we've got ours preheated at 325 degrees. Generally, we'll cook a turkey at about 15 minutes per pound. Our turkey weighs 24 pounds. So multiply 15 by 24 to get 360. Then divide that by 60 to get 6 hours. All right, let's put the game on the TV and get ready to greet our guests. Why are you cooking it on the day? I mean, in my house, we always cook it before the day. There's about 45 minutes left. Time to remove our food. We tend to put it in the, in, the, in, the, in the oven the night before. And then by the morning, it's all but ready. Mmm, smelling great. There's some nice drippings in the pan for gravy. Everything seems okay, but let's see where we are with the bird's temperature. Most turkeys come with this little pop-up device that's supposed to tell you when your bird is done. Thing is, it's I have never accurate. seen that in that's my life. You need the meat thermometer. It's the going hell to is that? The accurate temperature. I mean, I've seen a meat thermometer. I've never seen that thing. We're looking for a 161 degrees for the white meat and about 180 degrees for the dark. I get there are different areas of meat on the on the turkey, but so it's not quite ready yet. There's there's Let's not the foil off so there's the not white nice and dark meat on a turkey. On it. It's just white meat. I've got to get back to my guests. I mean, come on, on it obviously. Here he is, all nice and brown and ready for carving. First, cut here in this thin layer of skin that holds the thigh to the breast. Cut all the way down to your carving surface and stop when you reach the joint. Great. Now just take your hand, washed of course, and press down on the thigh. Remove it when you hear the socket pop, then just cut it off. Put that on a separate plate to carve up later. Now let's begin I'm, I'm, the breast. I'm not sure this guy actually knows what he's doing. I mean, he seems to know how to carve, but the rest of it seemed a bit off. Nice and clean. Ought to have you over to carve our Christmas turkey too. Let's cut a few more slices. Oh yeah, in America you have Thanksgiving. So this is supposed to be Thanksgiving. No, no, no. Turkey is like... We have turkey twice a year in my house. We have it at Easter and at Christmas, but I mean, two loads of turkey too close wow, together. I don't think those it are works. Some delicious looking slices. Great job. Let's just go ahead and eat. See you after dinner. Our subject is well gone, but everyone else is recovering nicely. They'll want to rest thoroughly to let their food digest. Guys might need to loosen their belts a few notches for comfort. Your guests may also stray into the kitchen for leftovers. My god, I have never seen a worse guide to cooking a turkey. And this is on a surgery simulator. I mean, let's be honest, it just doesn't set a great impression. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here, guys, so... If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.